Hello everyone and welcome to the first ever High Noon Solo Queue VOD review. Uh, my name is Deathblow, of course, from the High Noon Podcast. If you're not familiar with the show, please do check it out. You can watch it right here on this YouTube channel. Uh, if you do watch or listen to the show, you'll know that I've gotten into coaching recently and we've opened up our Discord server to uh, the general public instead of patrons only and that's led to uh, an influx of people asking me for help and asking for uh, me to watch their VODs and review them. I thought I'd turn that into some YouTube content as I am uh, aspiring to be a coach and, and an analyst in the game a little bit so uh, I would like to kind of get some of this on recording and get some content out there outside of the podcast. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at a Soldier 76 player named Deicide. He is at the Platinum level. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at his match on Temple of Anubis both on attack and defense. Uh, so without further ado let's go right over into the video. As you can see, we are starting things off on defense here. We are going to be setting up uh, kind of a little far forward here for, for my liking. Uh, Soldier 76 uh, definitely wants high ground, and this used to be a very, very good spot for him to start. Uh, however, uh, with the dive comp being the way it is, we can see there are uh, there are Divas and Winstons all over the metagame, and uh, this map is no different. So uh, we'll see here. Things start off well. We get a nice Helix Rocket kill on the Winston, and uh, we also see the Sombra and the, the Zarya chip in on some kills here. So a really good start for the team. Um, I think, though, if the other team had been a little more decisive and decided to dive in, you would have been punished for your positioning. Uh, and also with the popularity of Widowmaker on this point for this map, I think it's really dangerous. Like it, It's something I'm always aware of, it, even if there's not one on the other team. I'm kind of watching the sight lines because it's something I do expect people to switch into. Uh, as we see, kind of really just not get punished at all. Like They don't threaten you on the positioning, so no punishment whatsoever there. Uh, but generally speaking, as you move up through the ranks, that won't happen near as often. Uh, also, we see a fight develop here where we go to kind of save our Mercy, who has some pretty bad positioning of her own. And as a result, we kind of draw the attention of the Winston in, and we get punished by the res. So again, keep your positioning farther back, and uh, just kind of maintain high ground. I really like, as you can see here, um, once we get back in position, actually, let's just back it up a little bit here. Uh, I really, really enjoy grabbing uh, the high ground on either side. Uh, the left or the right, you know, we have some high ground up here, and we also have some high ground up behind us. I like one of those two spots. Uh, personally, I'll just kind of stay up there. Uh, the the one on the top right of our screen has the, the mega, you know, over in this area. And also we have this whole path we can walk behind uh, with uh, some really good cover and uh, we can hide completely if we need to and, and then also we have some great escape routes as well we can jump down onto the point or go around into the back not the best positioning to, to see it there um, you know, hopefully in future videos I'll, I'll have some some screenshots and I can kind of support this but this is the first one and I just wanted to really wanted to get started so it right, looks like we do lose the first point there they don't they don't get to fight for it again so we're just gonna back up and hold for the second point uh, probably a smart decision, usually a smart decision on this map. It's very easy to take point one, very difficult to tank point two, and uh, the best attempt at the second point is always your very first push. And so it's very smart to get back and get set up. Uh, here again, you're just not getting not getting punished, but you're, you don't have a tank in front of you, uh, and it was just a little bit greedy there to, to kind of try to take that poke fight. And again, we see you're positioned a little too far forward, so I'm, I'm going to continue to harp on this a little bit. I know this is something we talked about in chat as well, uh, how you need to you know not play like you're a tank uh, on all your heroes. I think it will, will benefit you, but you're not punished for it a ton here. Uh, a little bit, but not a ton. And this is one of the prime opportunities where we do get punished for it here. As the Mercy comes in, reses, and we're standing right next to a Reaper Corpse. When realistically, we should be... Let's see. Uh, I really like to set up on Soldier 76 right... Now he's about to pop his ultimate, so we're going to pause it right here and take a look. I really like this position on Soldier 76 on this map. If you can get there, uh, there's you know a path where you go up, you end up on top of here... Uh, you jump across so it's it's a really strong position uh, you can go ahead and, and search out uh, a link to the video if you're not sure how to make that jump and, and really in general just look for any soldier rocket jump uh, positioning videos you can come up you can get some really cool sight lines some really cool high ground opportunities if you know how to, to make the most out of your rocket jump ability uh, but let's go ahead and continue on with 
the VOD here. And we see we kind of pop an ultimate right into a diva's face here. So make sure you're very, very aware of whether or not that diva's up and, and what her status is. You do seem to track it a little bit later on. Uh, so it, it's nothing I think that's a, a long-term concern. But nonetheless... Uh, we see an attempt to switch over to May that doesn't doesn't work out. We don't get enough stall. But I don't know that you would have had a better opportunity. But you kind of want to you know do your best at least to uh, force the diva to use up her defense matrix, right? Like you can kind of fire your left click into into the maw of the defense matrix and make her use up most of the timer at least to pop it. It was a really tough spot, but um, something to always be aware of. You know, don't just throw your alt into a, a diva that's standing right there. You do a good job of, of pressing tab, you know, kind of keeping track of, of what the comps are. Um, do it a little more during the matches. <coughs> It'll benefit you. You'll know what alts are up for your team and be able to combo things. Now, you guys choose to, to take the left approach, and, and that's great. And really, you just get left out to dry here. Um, nobody called that leap in in the back, and so it took you a second to really notice it. And... Uh, you know, your Winston just wasn't on the same page either. The team just needs to communicate a little better. Um, yeah, it was a little late for you to call it out, but you could have at least at least tried. Like, you might have been able to save your Winston. You might have been able to get out. And a valiant effort to almost almost escape there. Your Zarya did their best, uh, fortunately. We will suffer the death. Your team just seems to be poking. Hopefully, I can't remember if anybody gets picked here or not. They do, unfortunately. So, um, nothing you can do about that, but just in general, folks, don't peek. Don't, you know, don't try to get those shots in. Like, you're not going to do anything one on six, but uh, give the other team more alt than you get. And things are going to be compounded by that mercy death there. So, we're going to step forward a little bit, as that's going to take a second for the mercy to return. Can go too far, but uh, pressuring the diva a little bit always a good idea when you can. And this is a much better approach. I like this a lot more from uh, from your team. So a uh, good job varying things up here. You even have a really good opportunity. Like call for your whole team to just get out there. Um, you know, you do end up losing the sombra to the ultimate. It, it cost you uh, something as well, or it cost the other team something as well as you guys did get a kill. But the res brings that back up. Now, before we go any farther, I want to talk here. You guys do a great job gaining this high ground. You run all the way up here, and you are in just such a great position right here, okay? You have your ult ultimate, so you, you really want this high ground. It's super good for you. Stay up here. That's the probably the biggest thing I think you could have done to help your team uh, you know, win this round a little bit faster or uh, just you know, give yourself a better chance at, at winning and catching up to the solid time set by the other team is just to hold your ground up here. You can see your Sombra has been kind enough to hack this pack right here. Uh, you have great sight lines to anywhere you know, the defense can come through. They can come in through the other side as well. Uh, they love to hang out in here. Uh, you, you know for a fact that the other team is very far forward and actually mostly grouped up here. Uh, so you're going to have an excellent sight line to them as soon as they come in to actually contest your point. So I think it would have been really, really important for you to hang out on this, this high ground. Um, you also have the room in behind uh, where you can you can go in and uh, hold your spot. You know, I was talking about this uh, on the defensive side of things, this being a great place to hold. That's the same holds true for the offense for exactly the same reasons, right? It's just if you can take control of this area, this room, especially with a Sombra, you'll be in a really, really good position. Uh, so my number one piece of advice and takeaway from this video is on attack, hold this position. It was perfect. Everything was great. And uh, I think things end up going pretty well for you, but I think it just took a little longer than it needed to, right? So... Uh, but let's continue on here, and we'll see. Uh, we use an, an ultimate that is okay. Uh, you know, you can probably do a pretty good job on that Winston without using your alt. And, you know, you caught the supports in a really weird spot. You know, you got the kill on the Winston, which was great. Um, it, it did not get resurrected, which I thought really helped contribute here. But as we can see, just being able to be dove on that easily by so many different characters. Like that Zarya can't get in your face if you'd never jump down from that high ground. So a little poor positioning there, but overall, um, you know, a nice attempt. You guys should be repeating that, especially now with that, that mega hacked up there. You should be repeating that approach uh, every time. It worked very well. 
We'll see here. There's some poke poke wars going on. Very common. You know, you get a lot more uh, holding back in the high ground spots at the higher SRs, but uh, a lot more choke point play uh, in the lower and the middle SR groups like this. And we see they do make the attempt to repeat the, the process. And the other team reacted much better to it. They, they came in much deeper, and you guys had a really nice res, a good tempo res, too. You know, the days of five-man reses are dead. Uh, you guys get a really good position. And then, again, you just kind of opted not to take the high ground. It would have been the same distance to go up as to go down. I think it worked out, right, because the Reaper was up there, and you ended up not dying to it. But I, I would have gone in and helped them. Uh, you guys might have been able to, with a Discord orb and a, a right-click or a rockets from the soldier been able to take down that reaper unfortunately we fall but we do get a tick on the point and not quite two ticks so unfortunate but so be it see here your team has done a really good job of kind of prolonging the fight and keeping things going you come back in with an alt they don't really have anything uh, directly in your face that was uh, your own winston the, the diva didn't react well to that uh, unfortunately, we didn't commit hard enough to that corner uh, to save our to save our lives there. Uh, but that's just kind of an instinct thing that comes with repetitions and time. And I believe you told me you'd recently made a change over from console to PC. So um, you know, movement, all those things, those will get better in time. Uh, just keep at it. And we see here, this is a good job to to get that kill. And you guys do, I believe, a really good job of of kind of following up here well maybe not i would have liked to see the aggression already from the whole team but now we're, ha we're hanging back we're poking uh, your winston needed to just go you guys had a kill you had an advantage and uh, you just needed to make it make it happen a little too tentative there Now, again, your, your idea here is perfect. You're just a little ahead of yourself, right? Like, you just want to have your, your Winston in front of you. Like, where is where is your shield? And, again, we're uh, a great path, a great route to take, uh, just the wrong time for it. And we can see uh, this is probably the second, maybe third time that we've had somebody dive in on the back of our team, and we weren't back there to help them and help burst down that Winston and, and deal with the threat as it comes in so a lot of talk recently about catching dives right dives been so popular and the way to beat it is to you know catch the people that jump in on you the winstons the genjis the tracers and and kill them and then once you have an advantage you can dive you know that's that's really the strategy and what you're after here uh, especially in a situation like that like whoever makes the decision to go uh, the other team just wants to catch it as well as possible So here again, your positioning is a little far forward. You do a ton of work there, though. It was a really good brawl for you. Uh, just maybe being a little farther back might have protected you. You, you know, you want to get range on a Reaper, especially. Uh, it's really important to kind of hang back a little bit. Uh, make him come to you and make him take a bunch of damage on the way. Something I recommend soldiers do, especially when your team is is running a little divey and, and you guys are, are about half dive, you know, your, your supports are a little off for it, but you do have the tanks. And, um, you know, it's, it's most, most easily characterized as a dive for sure. But I, I would recommend that you guys uh, stay near your Zenyatta. You know, right here you're shooting at the discarded target, right, because your Zen is with you and you guys are poking the same thing. Uh, so it's a really good combination, and you guys can do a really good job of protecting each other, as neither of you have too great of a, a health pool, but you can give him a little more self-healing than he can muster on his own, and uh, he can give you a little more damage than you can muster on your own. So, you know, A little bit too much flanking going on, but you're not getting punished for it, so I get tr you know continuing to try it. It's a really good pick. You guys need to be in on the point. You do. You are absolutely doing the right thing. You're not aggressing into it. You forced an ultimate. Um, commit harder to jumping down, though, right? Go underneath. Get that mega. Save the life. Uh, you get rezzed, but there's too many kills going on, I think, for it to be good. Well, you guys get some back here, and the meme pin takes you down. Uh, so, again, positioning would have saved you from that meme pin a little bit. If you were back edge of the point or hanging out on the bridge, you know, it, it's okay to let your team do some of the point capturing for you, especially if there's already three there. But there's times and situations where on Soldier, I'm going to let two of my teammates handle the progress because I, I'm too vulnerable if I step forward. Yep, 
Yeah, and your team is even giving your, your Winston a little bit of flack for not initiating. This is the first time you guys even really look to try right side. Your Winston's not communicating, but trying to get everybody over there. And he's right. I think that's the best approach. You know, you go in the right side, you go up over the uh, the right side the right side edge, and your Winston decided to initiate on his own. And then your Sombra kind of makes matters a little worse, so you don't really have time to fully regroup, so I guess you're just making the, the best of a bad situation. Hopefully, you guys can get that Reaper. Mm, that's tough. Really nice rocket kill, Helix rocket kill there on the Reinhardt. Very good job timing out his shield and waiting for that and being patient. Uh, unfortunately, that monkey was just so angry. The mercy gonna res? Nope. Not you, anyways. Not anyone. Well, that's pretty much gonna wrap things up here. I know they don't. Uh, they don't capture it. So all in all, a pretty good job. You know, you had some um, some solid moments. Like your aim here is really good. I don't think that's really, you know, keeping you from advancing any farther. I, I think it's going to be mostly about positioning and communication. You do talk. You do do some call outs, but you can never do too much, right? And when one thing I always tell people, it'll be a recurring theme here, is be your team's cheerleader a little bit. When somebody hits a nice shot or makes a nice play, tell them so. It'll make them play better, I promise you. Well, anyways, guys, that is going to wrap up the first ever High Noon VOD review. Solo Q VOD review. I can't even remember what I called it myself. High Noon Solo Q VOD review. There it is. Uh, I appreciate you all stopping by, hanging out, enjoying uh, the channel and the content. Please do check out the High Noon podcast. Uh, we live record every Monday-ish at 7-ish. Those are, are not the main uh, ways to distribute the show, however. Um, so you can check it out here on the YouTube or, all, as always, it is a podcast. So it's on iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, uh, just about anywhere you can listen to a podcast. So uh, it's, again, it's High Noon Podcast with myself, uh, Deathblow, and The Blevins. So uh, look us up, find us on Twitter, reach out to us there, and let you know what you thought of the VOD review. Is there anything I missed? Is there anything you'd like to see me cover? Any more specifics? Um, you know, what what additional uh, supporting content can I provide? Do you want to see? I don't know for sure my computer can handle in-game, probably for a local recording and not a, a stream. Um, I can probably do, you know, record some positioning and, and probably splice the two together. But uh, nonetheless, I appreciate you guys stopping by, hanging out with me. Have a good one.